What's up, everybody? Uh, it's been a it's been a little while since I've done a video. I've, I've been pretty busy. I apologize for that, but I ain't like I got many subscribers anyway. Actually, I don't think I have any. So I'll be the only one watching this. But today's a special occasion, so I had to make one. I probably should really be getting in bed right now because I just got off work like 30 minutes ago. I gotta go back into work in like five and a half hours and do a 16 hour shift so yeah but I can't pass this up I've been waiting for this moment for four freaking months okay so I had to do a video on this so I'm gonna show you this oh god I can't work this freaking camera. This stupid phone. I got a new phone. So I'll just have to show you this way. There we go. Copenhagen Black has finally entered my hometown and is now in stores. And I've waited for so long for this. And they never did come out with a date of like, it just said it will come out in October. They never actually come out with. A certain day until later on so like every day this month I've asked the gas station I go to you know gas stations around if they had it yet and they didn't you know the Grizzly came out the Grizzly uh, Dark Select I haven't got to try it yet so I'll probably try it next but I'm, I'm a Copenhagen guy I dip Copenhagen straight it's my regular but I had to try this you know I've waited so long so I've never tried it before so I'm gonna do it right now and I'm gonna do it on video so I can give y'all a for the ones that haven't got it yet kind of an idea of what it tastes like let me crack the seal on this son of a gun set you down there oh it's time for a dip of snuff got a pack of fatty Mm. It's got a strong smell to it. Kind of reminds me of... If you ever tried Stoker's Moonshine Blend, it kind of has a similar smell to that. Or that Tequila Sunrise that, that completely sucked. Kind of reminds It's in between those two. So... It's a little dry, though. Probably going to get it all over the place. And I am... Uh, it's more of a finer cut. It's supposed to be a long cut, but it's kind of a fine cut. It's not real long. <laughs> I got this crap all over me. Hang on just a moment. Ah, I'm back. My mug jug of the other day, plastic bottle, because I don't have a mug jug. I apologize for that. Anyway, it's kind of, it's a really, it's fine cut, it's long cut, but it's a fighter long cut. It's not really like the long cut like straight is and stuff, but As soon as you put it in, it's also a little bit drier. Maybe, I don't know if that's just where, I mean, I don't know. It might just be where the, maybe they've had them sitting for a while or something and they're new. But it's a little bit drier. It ain't really as wet as some of the other Copenhagen's is. Uh, 
like I said, it's a, it's a, a finer, long cut. It don't bust all in your mouth like fine cut does. It stays packed, but it's not not as bad as it don't break up as bad as fine cut, but it don't stay packed as good as long cut. It's kind of in between. But honestly, right off the right off the as soon as I stuck it in, it's got a really bitter taste to it. It don't really taste bad. It's just really really bitter. I mean, it's like, I'm trying to think of what it might, what I could compare it to, but, I don't taste, I watched another review on it, and somebody said it kind of taste, reminded them of Copenhagen Straight, but, I don't taste any of the sweetness of Straight in it. Right now, anyway, not not as soon as I stuck it in. It don't really have the sweetness of straight. Kind of. It ain't really salty either. It's just kind of. It's just bitter. I mean, that's just the only way I could describe it. It's not really sweet, but it's not really got like the saltiness, like you know, like the. The Copenhagen Long Cut does the original and all that. It ain't really the salty or sweet. It's kind of just there. But definitely don't taste as good as Stoker's Moonshine Blend 2 does. It ain't got that strong taste. It don't hit you. I mean, when you first put it in, it's, it's really bitter. But it don't like hit you with full flavor. It's just kind of bland, honestly. It's, it's kind of a strong taste, but I, I don't taste anything that I can compare it to right off of what what it, what it reminds me of. It don't really remind me of anything that I've dipped before. See if I can get a little wetter. It's still kind of dry. See if I can get a ah hell that. I was gonna try to open my Gatorade, but well now that now that I've had it in for a couple minutes, I am starting to get a little bit of sweet taste to it. So they wasn't wrong. Not so much. Not so much straight sweetness, but there's a little bit of a little bit of hint of sweetness in it. I can taste that. And as longer it's staying in, the bitterness goes away. It's kind of. It's start, starting to fade away a little bit. The bitterness ain't as bad as it was when I first stuck it in. Not really what I expected. I was kind of, I guess I expected different, you know, a different taste I had in my mind. But it's not bad. I mean, I'm probably not going to go out and buy like five or six rolls of the stuff. But, but I mean, it may, it may grow on me. I mean, by the time. A lot of times, there have been a lot of dips that I've tried. I'm like, man, that sucks. You know, or, yeah, you know, it's decent or whatever. But by the time I finished the, the first can, I was hooked on it. And then I'd buy two or three rolls after that. And Like straight. I used to hate straight. I was always like a mint guy or wintergreen. or Well, not really wintergreen as much because the only dip I ever got sick on was wintergreen. Grizzly wintergreen, big exact. But I've always like... Mint. Mint has always been my favorite. I started out on I started out on on uh, Skull Peach ten years ago, eight eight or nine years ago, somewhere in there. But uh, maybe not that quite that long ago. I'm tired. I'm sorry. I've been up. I've been up since 1:30 yesterday. 
and like I said, I, I got double to do today, but this is important. I had to make a video of it. But it it's not bad. I definitely can taste like the whiskey taste to it. But it's a bitter one. It's like bitter. It's not it's not a real real like it don't pop out at you. Kinda like what I expected, you know, it kinda like I thought, you know, for sure, you know, since it's uh, uh, Wayman's Reserve, the small batch or whatever, barrel-aged small batches. Kind of figured maybe, you know, kind of bust the flavor, but you don't get that. It, uh... Like I said, I can taste I can taste the sweetness, a little bit of sweetness. Not much salty. Still a little bit bitter, but not as bad as when like when you first put it in, it's really, really bitter. But as it gets you know, as it gets wet and stuff and you know, it gets a little bit soggy in your mouth, then it kinda the bitterness kinda goes away. But it's still it's still there. It's not all the way gone, but it's it's not as strong as it was. It's colder than a penguin's pecker in this house. When I went to work, I left the air conditioner on, like a moron, and it's probably like 50 degrees in here. Well, yeah, but it the taste as it as it goes, the taste isn't really changing much. I mean, like I said at first, there was no sweetness; it was all bitter. But as I as it you know, after I had it in for two or three minutes. It, uh, the sweetness, I, I definitely taste the sweetness. Not as much as straight, but I definitely taste some in there. I can definitely, ta I can definitely taste the, whis the whiskey taste of it. It's got a little bit of that taste to it. I can taste that. Not real, real strong, like it don't, like I said, it don't bust out the flavor. No, it ain't. The, wi the whiskey taste ain't really overpowering it or nothing, no. Uh, the can ain't really much designed either like it's just kind of I don't know if it's light enough to see the lid the lid is silver you know it's still got the the rough the pop out things at the top but the middle there where it says uh, Copenhagen black right there in the middle it uh it's kind of sunk into the can instead of popping out it's kind of sunk in uh, the whole can is you know Plastic bottom, all that. There we go. I should have done it over here. It's, uh, yeah. But, uh, I'm hoping to check the taste changes so I can give y'all a little bit better idea of what it might taste like. But the best way to do it is just go out and buy your can yourself if, uh, your store, your, your town, the stores in your town has it. That'd probably be my best advice to you. Uh, like I said, I'm not disappointed, but kind of expected a little bit different. But I never really, I never tried, you know, the old, the old Copenhagen Black and all that. And, uh, but everybody, you know, a lot of my friends, buddies and stuff, they like that. So I'd get them to try this and see if it changed any, you know, see if they, the taste has changed any. If it's, you know, got better or got worse or whatever. But, you know, when they had that boating thing, this is what we all voted for. You know, because they already have mint wintergreen, so why they even put another mint wintergreen up, I don't know. They should have known that this would win. I mean, I said that from the beginning, and it won. But. If I had to compare it to anything... It's a cross between Moonshine Blend, Stoker's Moonshine Blend, and the, the Stoker's uh, Tequila Sunrise that completely sucked that I hated. It almost made me sick when I chewed it. But uh, I don't even know if they still make that. I know they make Moonshine Blend. It's just hard to find. But uh, the, sun, the Tequila Sunrise or whatever, I don't, I don't know if they make that much anymore. No wonder. I wouldn't, I wouldn't make it. My God. But it's kind of... It reminds me of both, but not... I kind of wish it was more on the moonshine blend kind, the you know because I kind of want to 
I'm not much of a cheer anymore. I did more now, and it's, you know, I, I kind of was hoping someone would come out with like a moonshine blend dip. And I know Outlaw will come out with his uh, wild watermelon flavor. You know, that's pretty cool. And I ain't, I ordered some, but I think they sold out. And they said it'd be, a, you know, a couple weeks. And I ordered about, I guess, about a week and a half ago. So I'm hoping maybe soon I'll get to try that. And then I'll have to make a video on that because, you know, to see what it's like. Because I always want to know what, you know, usually Skull comes out with the flavors. And I always expected Skull to come out with the watermelon blend, but they never did. So Outlaw jumped on it. And I'm glad he did. I'm excited to try it. And uh, he said before the fall ends, he might come out with a couple more flavors. Kind of hoping, I don't know what it is, but I'm kind of hoping that maybe one of them's moonshine blend dip but if not if outlaw if somehow you see this video keep that in mind buddy because that'd be awesome if you can come out with like a moonshine blend dip like the chew you know have kind of the similar taste or maybe even better that'd be awesome and i would buy the crap out of that and i'd say a lot of other people would too but it's a cross between tequila sunrise and moonshine blend that's what i'm getting but it's not really, really strong. It ain't got the strong flavor that those chews did. It's just kind of... Say you had that chew in for about an hour. And the flavor's fading away. That's what it reminds me of. It's really dull flavor. It's not really pops out at you or nothing. It don't really pop out. But it's good. I mean, it tastes alright. But... Not bad. And, it, you know, I got the sweetness in there. It don't really remind me of straight. Like some people said, it reminds them of straight. It don't really remind me of that. But I, I do taste a little bit of sweetness. And I, I can definitely taste the whiskey taste. It is. It ain't ever powering. I'm trying to get juice out so I can taste it better. <laughs> Sorry for my chipped teeth. I know it's it's disgusting. But I put Doritos on a ham sandwich. And I, somehow the Dorito got turned sideways about three years ago and chipped my tooth. So I look like an idiot, but... You know, part of life, I guess. Life lesson. Don't put Doritos on your ham sandwich. Even though it's good. But it's been about... Let's see how long is this video going. It's been 17 minutes. The flavor is still, it's still staying in there. I mean, it ain't it ain't weakened any. Besides the bitterness. So, I mean, it's, you know, it lasts all right. Uh, but it ain't really tasting any different than when I first put it in. Besides the sweetness coming in. But, you know, the whiskey taste, I can taste that. Um, like I said, it's like a, a finer cut, long cut. And it's kind of dry. But like I said, this could just be the can. You know, I mean, there might be... Every now and then you get a can that's a little dry. You know that. All your dippers know that. So, it might just be that. I might have to get another can and try it and see. But, that's my review on it. I like it. It's all right. I mean, it ain't, it ain't kind of, you know, it ain't really what I expected, but I ain't disappointed. Uh, you know, it's worth the wait. Just to try it, you know, and uh, I encourage y'all to go try it. See what you think of it. But it's pretty good. You know, I mean, it's it's not bad. But I'm going to have to get in bed now because I'm going to do a double later. The joys of being a 25-year-old single dad. Nah, I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. But, uh, I guess I'll get off here now and I'm going to dip a little bit longer then I'll go to sleep. But, uh, till ne next time, this is Tennessee T. Wayne. And I hope, hopefully I can make more videos soon. I'm sorry it's been so long since I made, you know, any new ones. I, I want to make funny ones. I told y'all I'd make funny ones and I plan on it. I just got to get the time to do it. Now, I don't have a lot of time. Working 48, 50 hours a week, it's kind of hard, you know, but we'll get them out there. And I uh, hope I get some subscribers soon. But remember to keep it real. No, oh, my hair's a mess. Keep it real. Get your dip on. Buy you some Copenhagen Black Wayman's Reserve. Try the new Grizzly uh, Dark Select, Dark Straight, you know, that's what Alice said it reminds him of. It reminds him of Dark Straight, you know, like a Dark Straight. But I want to try that, maybe I might do a review on it too, try it out. 
Uh, but I'll get you know, all in all, I'll give it a, I'll give it an A. It ain't bad. You know, I kind of, I kind of was hoping for more flavor, like a bust of it, you know. But you don't get that. But it's all right. But uh, I'll talk to y'all later. And until next time, like I said, Tennessee T. Wayne, get your dip on, pack your fatty, keep it real, and good night from me because I'm going to bed. See y'all.